This week on the Ritual Misery Podcast, it is our first Sunday episode, and we're going to talk about some TikTok. Ah, uh, TikTok like the clock of the week. My button wasn't there. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 273 for the Sunday, the 14th of February, 2021. Today is the worst holiday fucking ever. This is your two lifelong guests and their, two lifelong guests and their friends <laughs> celebrate all things geek. Yeah, that sounds good. Bob in the chat says, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ah, uh, yes. I'm Kent. That's Amos. Oh, yeah. I forgot to introduce us. <laughs> I fucked up the intro to the show. I forgot to introduce us. This is going splendid. Hey, it's it's a new day. It's a new... We- well, no, we talked about that in the pre-show. We don't know if it's a new week <laughs> or the end of a week or... It's the end um, of the week. This is the, the week ending ritual misery. That's what this is. <laughs> um, oh, for, for those man. just catching up, because I forgot Friday to post the show because uh, I suck at life. Everything's done. I just forgot to post the damn show. Anyway, uh, we are trying out this Sunday thing. Uh, this is This is a test run for two things. One, if we get to the appropriate patreon level we will do two days a week and uh meanwhile we are going to do two days a week this month uh trying out Mm -hmm. the sunday thing i think next week is going to be either at the same time which is 6 p.m my time so 7 p.m pacific on sunday or the time we were supposed to originally start doing it at uh 5 p.m pacific time on sunday uh, that has yet to be determined, but we'll figure it out throughout the week. Uh, if you're in a discord, we'll let you know as soon as we figure it out because, well, that's how we are. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, uh, yeah, can't man Sunday. How's it feel? Um, it, it, it's all right. T- tomorrow is a day off for me because tomorrow is president's day. Yes. Uh, AKA George Washington's birthday. Um, so I actually get to drink tonight. So that's, uh, it's kind of nice. Well, I like it. Uh, yeah, uh, that's 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 one thing. Yeah. Why why do we and, celebrate uh, President's Day in February and Black History Month Day or Martin Luther King Day in January? Like I've never quite. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a reason behind it that I'm just absolutely ignorant of. Um, but whatever. It's just it, it's birthdays. I you know, and I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know. It's one have, of those things. Have, um, have you seen the uh, the Samuel Jackson video on uh, explaining why he doesn't believe Black History Month is a good thing? Um, I don't think it was Samuel Jackson. I think you're talking about Morgan Freeman. No, they well maybe maybe Morgan Freeman did one too, but Samuel Jackson different. Well, maybe shit. Now I'm the fucking shitty white reporter that can't remember <laughs> two different black guys. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if, if, uh, Sam Jackson did one, but I know, I know for sure Morgan Freeman did one. I, I've watched that before. Um, you might yeah, be right. Like I, I, I did so, watch a bunch of Samuel Jackson interviews this week though, trying to get people to say the N word during the, after Django Unchained or something like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> so Morgan, Morgan Freeman's stance on it is, um, I, I think I agree with it only in the sense that that's the ideal. Um, I one day, one day, I, I think the ideal is to be at the point where none of it fucking matters. Uh, but I would disagree with him that today it doesn't matter. I think it does matter. Yeah, uh, because we're not we're not there yet. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I think it's important that we take time to recognize the accomplishments of. Um, you know, not just not just uh, Black History in February, but like like uh, all um, minorities, all uh, disadvantaged people. Um, Here, here's the thing know, with that: it, it's important to take a, a time to to separately recognize their accomplishments. Here's the problem with that, and this is going to sound like it comes from a very privileged condition because it does. Mm-hmm. Um, I know when Black History Month is. Uh, I don't know any of the others. And I know there's one for Hispanic History Month. or a, uh, I say Hispanic, but that includes Latinx because depending on where you're from, you like being called one or the other, but no one likes being called both. And 
I don't understand in any way, shape, or form, and I'm trying to acknowledge that right now because it's just it's something I should learn, but I haven't because I don't have personal experience with it. Um, but I, like Women's History Month, I don't know when that is. I know when Mother's Day yeah. is. You know, uh, I, it's it's just it's yeah. Well, you know, and the funny thing you you said Latinx, um, la- Latinos, or or whatever you want to say, uh, don't refer to themselves as Latinx. Right, it's it, a scholarly term that the media has picked up on. Um, right, and it it, it all the, comes yeah. around between who came from Portugal and and who uh, who emigrated <laughs> from Portugal Portugal and who emigrated from Spain. Yeah, and. Yeah, it's it's a very complicated history. I've watched like ten YouTube videos on it. I get it in concept, but I'm not familiar enough to differentiate or speak to it, uh, uh, you know, intelligently, as you can tell. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, they, uh, thank you, Squid's mixtape, uh, for the bits and uh, uh, the subscription. Oh, you already did that, right? Yeah. Twenty nine yeah, months. Yeah. Like, have we even been on Twitch for twenty nine months? I think he's scamming some extra months in there somewhere. <laughs> Dude, we've we've been on Twitch for a minute now. Yeah, he he coughed over some of Jeff Bezos' money. Hell yeah, we we will take all of Jeff Bezos' money. Let's go. I would I would um, literally take all of his money. I'd keep a small dude. portion for myself, distribute some to friends and family, uh, make sure the Diamond Club had a fucking trust fund, and then the rest of it would go to several charities that I could think of right off the top of my head. Oh, absolutely! Like, <laughs> hey, how, dude, how much how much snow do you have right now um, up there in Alaska? I would say, like, if you're just ca- talking about the mean level, uh, probably about two inches of snow on the ground right now. Okay, well, I, I'm rivaling you right now because that's about how much we have here in New Mexico. Like, in, it started at your, at your house or like up in the mountains? Yes. No, at no, at my house. Holy right now. shit! Down, yeah, down here in the basin. Yeah, and um, it's it's flurrying right now. In fact, hmm. uh, started late last night, and it accumulated very quickly. Yeah, and um, you know, got got a little warm in the afternoon, so some of it melted off. But now it's snowing again. So uh-huh. it's 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 um, yeah, we're probably sitting right about uh, now after the melt, probably about like an inch and a half, two inches right yeah. now. But uh, it's it's supposed to accumulate tonight and into tomorrow. So uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm expecting a lot of of car accidents. <laughs> in <El laughs> it's, Mordo, uh, it's a good thing it's happening day. on a long weekend. Um, yeah. I so everybody down like I don't say everybody family down in the lower 48. We're talking about how they're planning on getting this huge uh, uh arctic like thrust down into the into texas <laughs> and the southwest things like that it's going to supposed to skip over uh the west coast and just kind of dive down and then basically annihilate the east coast by the time it gets there and they were concerned about us we've had a fucking heat wave like it's been 30s every day here for the last 3 days <laughs> so oh you God. literally have all my snow Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we were having a heat wave uh, over the last several days as well. It was like up in the like upper 50s. I think we it jumped into the 60s there for a little bit. And uh, yeah, now it's uh, now we're getting that that Arctic uh, blast or whatever, whatever they're calling it. Yeah, where we're down in like the you know high 20s, low 30s. Oof. Uh, so you haven't been outside in days. <laughs> yeah like very quickly run like run to the car run to the you know like, uh <laughs> now, now do you have remote start on any, any of your vehicles no oh okay it's it's almost a standard feature up here oh no for sure you yeah. guys also have block heaters and everything else yeah in, in engine block heaters uh heated seats and heated steering wheels on anything but the most uh low low level i want to say low level the the economy versions of cars um yeah, so we have all that. I did recently find out that on my truck now, my wife's van is her her uh, her wagon uh, is technically newer than my truck. Like it it the production line started after the power wagon production line. So we, the Dodge Ram production line started back in like July August of last year. The power wagon production line started in October. They started rolling out in November, and then her um, Pacifica started rolling out in December. So my my truck is older than you know the production line is older than my wife's my wife's vehicle. Mm. 
it was also produced later. Like, you know, you can look at the production dates on what, exactly when your vehicle was made with certain manufacturers and, and Ram slash Dodge slash Chrysler slash Fiat is one of those that does that. My mm-hmm. truck was born before my wife's uh, uh, Pearl, the spaceship. <laughs> the spaceship. My wife can remote start her car just like I can with my truck. Then my wife was goes ready to walk out the door. She hits the unlock button and walks out there and just gets in the car. Like mm-hmm. my old truck, like all vehicles I've ever known. On my power wagon, however, as soon as you do the remote start, it disables the remote unlock. So you oh. have to actually walk up to the vehicle. Not that big of a deal, right? Not, I mean, not a big thing. Except in the mornings when I take the kids into school, I remote start the vehicle so it's nice and toasty for us. And then they head out the door while I'm putting my shoes on. That's pretty much the standard thing. Because until they head out the door, I'm running around. They're stuck waiting in the cold. So they're standing there. And until I figured it out, until I read into the the manual and stuff like that, yeah, they would go out there and try to open the door and it wouldn't unlock. And I I thought it was unlocked because I was hitting the unlock button, you know? Nope. Mm -hmm. So now they know they got to go to the driver's side and put and stick. I give give Autumn my eight year old. I give her the key and she because it's one of the remote keys that you know location sensing or whatever. Yeah. So she walks up there, slides her hand in, in behind the driver's side handle. The truck unlocks and then Evelyn will open the back door. Yeah. Wow. Little things like yeah. that. Like I, I didn't. Nobody thought about that. Yeah, I uh, yeah. So I don't I don't have a remote start, but luckily I do have a garage that I park my car in. So <laughs> that helps tremendously. Yeah. Do you have a garage um, heater, or is it just based on the house, or is it just self enclosed? I can't imagine you'd have a garage heater. It, well, quite, oh no, 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 no! It's just it's just enclosed. It's um, yeah. So like it's it's shielded from the elements, right? And uh, most of the low temperature, um, it still gets cold out there, but not nearly. It, <laughs> it's just getting it it's getting outside. radial heat from your bedroom and from the uh, from the living room, basically the two walls that it shares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, Lucas, unfortunately, uh, he has to park outside <laughs> on the curb, <laughs> and uh, he had to he had to clean snow this morning before work. So uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. for him. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's not one of my favorite things to do, though. Um, you know, you know, one of my least favorite things on this fucking earth to do is, and I think I've mentioned this before, is is going to a dealership the the uh you know you just you just go there you, you're allotting an hour usually to go to the dealership and look around or whatever but you inevitably spend all day there yep. and it's not a, a fun all day it's a like fun 30 minutes and then horrific horribleness for the the rest of like the eight hours that you're there yeah but it can vary so much like i said when i bought my power wagon i was there for like maybe two hours max, you know, I went in there, we did the paperwork and I walked out and it was done. My wife. Yeah. Did you, did you bring a pal by the way? I did. Uh, A a pre-approved loan. Okay. So I think honestly, I think that makes all the difference. I I am convinced thusly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, The second time we did not, we kind of just left it up to whatever the best we could get was going to be. They actually uh, interest matched us. And, you know, they, they match the, the loan we got from my, my wife's car is the same as we got from my truck. It's just mm-hmm. from a different company. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. And we, we didn't even know that company existed, and it's here local in the valley. Ooh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, yeah, who knew? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Ste- Steph is, uh, she's in the market, and okay. uh, she was asking me some questions. What about, is she currently uh, driving? Uh, uh, 2013 Ford Fiesta. Ouch. Yeah, 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 and I keep. It's about four years overdue for to, breaking down the side of the road, isn't it? Well, no, I mean, so there's two things. Uh, one, there's there's a transmission issue where the uh, like it doesn't shift like the way it's supposed to. It's like a clunky shift. Okay. Um, at times, um, but the the thing that really pisses me off and I so I I just had to replace a part today actually and it's the third time wait yeah the third time in less than a year that I've had to replace the exact same part it's um so it's nomenclature is a stoplight switch so basically it's the switch that goes um uh 
like next to the brake pedal. So when you depress the brake pedal, it, it pushes the switch. Okay. Right. And this is the indicator uh, that uh, to turn on the brake light, basically. So when you press the pedal, that switch is what turns on the brake light. Well, if that switch goes out because it's unsafe to drive the vehicle uh -huh. without your brake lights, so it automatically locks out your shifter so you cannot shift out of park, which is a fucking problem if you're not at the house or somewhere safe. Is, is, now, okay, okay. Is there a... An is, override? Uh, no. Is is there a, uh, um, a manual unlock for the gear shifter? Um. Well, yeah, I mean, over, yeah, same, same, same. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, th I, thought is, you, I thought you said Uber there ride. Is, there is an override, uh, but you have to rip off a fucking panel and use a long, skinny stru screwdriver to uh, to maneuver a thing that you really can't fucking see. It's like working on an F-16, basically, where you have to adjust something that you can't see. Um it, it, it's it's absolutely terrible, and I had to rescue Steph a couple of days ago uh, because she was she was out running an errand, and um, yeah, she got stranded. So I had to go go um, assist. And it anyway, that was like the that was the catalyst because she was already kind of wanting to get a new car anyway. But this was that was like the catalyst of okay, it's fucking time. Yeah, it's it's time to not have this car anymore. So what is she in the market for? Um, not sure yet exactly. Well, I mean, she might be sure, uh, but we haven't talked about it in the last 24 hours, and I know that she's been um, <laughs> diligently shopping, so she might have a really good idea, but I think she's looking for a uh, uh, Dan or she was kind of looking at CRVs, but they, they get pricey, mm -hmm. and uh, so probably a sedan of some sort. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully not a Ford. My neighbor is actually. I just found out they are ride sharing because uh, he ordered a, a new car, and then as soon as he got the new car in order, he sold his old car, thinking the new car would be there in three weeks. They can they can ride share a couple weeks, you know. She's a stay at home mm -hmm. mom. He works at the power plant. Like he only works every other day, uh, kind of like fireman schedule, you know. Mm. Working uh, basically twelve on twelve off, whatever random days they put him in there. Um, he, yeah, he ordered a Ford Mach E. Okay, I've got a rant. It's, it's been like seven about. weeks, and they got another couple weeks left before it even arrives in state. Okay, so the Mach E, mm -hmm. but, okay, just buy it, you just take the Mach E. I think it's a. I think it's a pretty cool vehicle. Mm. It's an EV. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's got a, a lot of power. The the battery is good. Like everything about this vehicle is good, um, except they brand it as a Mustang. Right. It's a fucking grocery getter soccer mom fucking vehicle branded as a Mustang. Mm -hmm. I was telling Steph when when we were just kind of looking at at cars the other day. Um, and, and I started to explain to her what the Mach E was because she was like, oh, what's this thing? And I just got irrationally pissed off. Why? Why would you brand that as a Mustang? You don't need to. Like, it's the fucking Mach E. Call it the Ford Mach E. Yep. Why is it the Ford Mustang Mach E? Like, if I bought one of these vehicles, which I never would, but if I had one, for whatever reason, I had one. I would take the pony logo off of the thing. I wouldn't be upset about having the vehicle, but I would be embarrassed to have the pony badge on this fucking soccer mom grocery getter car. Like it's, it makes no fucking branding sense whatsoever. It did. It did make sense when they were looking at taking a Mustang Throwing electric motors in it and converting it to an all electric car to compete with Tesla, which was the original idea. It made sense mm -hmm. to brand it as the Mustang Mach E. But somewhere along the line, they decided that wasn't the route they wanted to go. And they basically upfitted a fucking Escort, a Ford Escort, into an EV, mm -hmm. but they kept the fucking Mustang brand. And that part doesn't make any goddamn sense. 
Exactly. Yeah. So exactly, it's fucking dumb. Yeah. Take the goddamn pony badge off of that. Now, thing. Uh, other other than other than the Mustang brand, I'm excited when he gets this car because I would like to see it. I want to see how it runs and we'll see what kind of uh, mileage and things like that he gets up here in Alaska and how hard it is because we don't have a lot of charging stations. You know, there are some Teslas on the road up here, but we don't have a lot of charging. I don't I don't, I don't know that we have any charging stations. So and he li- he works down in Eagle Ri- and uh, just past Eagle River, at the mm-hmm. the p- nuclear power plant plant there. So, uh, I'm interested to see, to to find his testimony is basically what I'm saying because I'm, it's it's interesting. I'm to me. looking forward to hearing about it actually because yeah. I because I am quite interested in the Mach E. It's just the bad taste of the branding. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Other than the branding, yeah. I'm excited for the vehicle. Exactly. So. Um, dude, is it about that time? It is. Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, kid's done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kids games. Play with him. This week's game is called Tick Top 50. Tick Can you guess what it's about? 50. I'm going to say it's probably about the top 50 creators in TikTok. That's right. So I'm going to name a celebrity. So mm-hmm. these aren't these aren't um, just you know known for being social media influencers and just TikTok people. These are actual celebrities uh, that have TikTok accounts, mm-hmm. and you're going to tell me if their account is in the top 50 most followed accounts. Oh, okay. Uh, now that if it if it matters, the data comes from 17 January 2021. So it's a couple of weeks old. Okay. So things do change, mm-hmm. but this is the latest data that I could find. Okay. okay. Are you ready? I are ready. All right. Your first celebrity is Kevin Hart. Is he in the top fifty on TikTok or not? Kevin Hart. Now, do you know if these numbers include their account? And the people that, f- that that have reposted their uh, stuff, or is it just their videos? It's it's follower count. It's follower. Okay, count. it's straight. Okay, no, that okay, okay. I just had to define the parameters. Yeah, you know anything yep, about yep. TikTok? Good you question. know that, that that's a perfect thing. question. Yep. Um, Kevin Hart, I'm gonna say is, and this is top fifty overall, not just top fifty celebrities, right? No, top fifty. Period. Top okay. t- top yeah, top fifty TikTok follower. Counts. I'm going to say Kevin Hart is not in the top 50. All right. You are correct. I would say he's probably just outside the top 50. Yeah. I'm not sure. For the ones that um, that are no's, yeah. I don't know their exact placement. I, I would probably say he's probably in the top 70, but not the top 50. That's probably fair. Okay. All right. Your, your second one is Will Smith. Will Smith. Now he he doesn't have a lot of videos, but his videos are really fucking hilarious when they're not commercials. Um, I'm gonna say he is in the top fifty. All right, you would be correct. Right. Um, Will Smith is actually in ninth place. Yeah. With forty seven point one million followers. That makes sense. His TikToks yep. are irregular but funny as long as they're not commercials. Like I said. All right, your next one is Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay is in the top 50. You are incorrect. Oh. No, I I and I'm sure his he is quite uh high on the list, but he is not top 50. Okay, okay. Um I'll I'll explain my methodology for uh well, anyway. Okay, moving on. Uh your next one is Ariana Grande. I'm going to say no, because I don't think I've ever seen anything by Ari on, uh, on TikTok. You're incorrect again. Oh. She is actually number 50. Oh. She's right on that line. Yeah, 23.2 million Fucking subscribers. Cuss- or followers, talker. rather. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, next up is Snoop Dogg. I'm going to say no. And you are correct. Okay, I'd say he's he's probably in the top hundred, but not not much higher than that. Because again, I don't see a lot of his stuff on the old TikTok. All right, uh, next up is The Rock. 
I'm going to say no, because he recently had a huge backlash in social media about a year ago. Oh, did he? Yeah. What was the, what was the backlash? I don't remember. Uh, that. He, he kind of came out. Uh, he said some things that were not jiving with the younger crowd as far as his politics goes. Oh, uh, I can see that because he's yeah. he's historically been conservative leaning. Yeah. Um. Well, at least for well, not so much for the social issues, but for just about everything else. Yeah. Um. Um. The wait. What, what did you say? You said I said no. You said no. Um. He actually is. Oh. In the top fifty. In fact, he is number twenty-two. Okay. So with, middle middle of the pack of the top fifty. Yeah, with 30.4 million followers. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. M- Moana uh, did him good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it did not hurt anything. Um, next up, we have Selena Gomez. Uh, if Ariana Grande is in 50th, I'm really interested to see where Selena Gomez is. I'm going to say she's slightly less popular than Ari, so I'm going to say she's out. You're going to say she's out. Yeah. Um, you are incorrect. Oh, damn. Yep. She is... Uh, dang it. Let me find her on this list. Um, There she is. Number 33. Ooh. With 26.2 million followers. Wow. Okay. Next up, we have Dua Lipa. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> okay. Um so yes no? No. Uh, you know okay, what? Gonna... You are All right. Huh? Yeah, she is she is not okay. in the top 50. All right. Your next celebrity is Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner probably is in the top 50. Okay. You are correct. She is one slot above Selena Gomez in number 32 with 26.4 million followers. Jeez. Okay. All right. And for your final one, Bill Nye. Bill Nye the science guy. Um, hmm. And I didn't game theory this, so I can't just go by that. I'm going to say he <laughs> is... I want to say he is. And I want to say you're wrong. <laughs> you did terrible on this one. Yeah. Uh, you only got two out of ten, which means that that button right there is the one that you push. This man has no dick. It happens. So the way that I the way that I did this, I, I pulled up uh, Wikipedia's list of the most followed TikTok accounts mm-hmm. uh like i said it was it's current as of 17 january um so i took five celebrities that i actually recognized their names as you know being <laughs> real celebrities and not um you know just social media people influencers if you will and those were my yeses obviously and then for the nose i went to because uh, you know how when you open up tiktok on the left hand side you know, it shows you your followed accounts, but it also shows recommended accounts. Mm-hmm. And there's a shitload of celebrities there, like actual, like real people. Yep. So, um, yeah. So I just took five random celebrities that weren't on the top 50. Okay. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was that. Um, Squid, thank you for the gift sub. Total of three. That he's given away, and he just uh, gave a gift sub for tier one to Green Gun Guy. So thank you very much. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, TikTok man, what you know about it? Uh, apparently not a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm I'm looking down this list of the top fifty that it was not easy to find, by the way, and. I don't see so I, I follow Will Smith. Okay, cool. He's number what do you what do we say? Number s- nine. Something um, like that. Yep. I don't 
I don't recognize any of these other people though. Like I recognize them like BTS. I know who that is, but I don't follow yeah, I almost, any of these. I actually almost put BTS on there. I would have gotten that one. Yeah, I don't follow any of these others. So that's how that's who are go. who are some some famous people that you that you follow. Not not TikTok famous, but famous famous. Um I f- shit. I don't even know cuz I like I try to stay away from mainstream. I I follow um uh uh Oh shit, what's her name? Uh 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 damn it. I can't remember her name. Um can't even remember the name of the song that she sings that, she, that was like her biggest hit. Um Christina Aguilera. No. Um um, um Jennifer Lopez. No. Lizzo. Um Lizzo. I follow okay, Lizzo. Lizzo. She has she has great videos. Um okay. I follow Will Smith. I don't really follow any other celebrities, man. Yeah, I'm too new at this whole TikTok thing. Um I I follow the Ritual Misery account. Right. So uh hey everybody, Ritual at, Misery's on there now. No Ritual videos Misery. posted yet. <laughs> Yeah, but, well, I mean, why would we, right? Like that isn't that the point? Is to have an account and not have any videos posted? Right. Yeah. So I I follow like two or three, maybe four <laughs> accounts at this point. Yeah. Um, so I um, but I did spend over the last uh, well since Thursday when we decided TikTok was going to be our subject today. Um, I've I've been I've spent way more time on TikTok than I had collectively lifetime. <laughs> up to that point um it it's interesting um one one thing that i noticed because i was uh, since i follow any scrolling through the you know because it gives you the recommended videos or whatever and i watch them scroll to the next one watch it scroll the next one so forth about every third fucking video that it gave me was from this guy called Something I don't know. You Unis Unisaru Unisaru Unisaru. I don't know. Right. Uh, what the fuck? Why? Like they're the dumbest ass. So basically, it's a. I mean, it's not okay. One here or there is fine. It's this guy that does these like photos. Like he's got a team of people that helps him make a, a photograph of like colors. Like there's always like dust and like just. Right. Or like like uh, brightly colored liquid that you know in uh, in the videos his TikTok videos are basically how they did the photo so it right. shows him actually capturing like how they did it um that's fine it's fine but why is it every third video in my in my scroll like it it gets old after you watch three of them i don't give a fuck anymore especially like, if you're not into photography Even like even if you were like after three of them, like you get it now. You like you get it. There's nothing more to learn. It's just this guy. It's aggravating. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> it's fair enough. Uh, I know that. Was... Honestly, that's that's like my only gripe though so far. Like it's it's fine other than that. Uh, that that I I had a lot of that problem back when I first started. Uh, John Green, by the way, uh, I followed John and Hank Green individually, hmm. and Doctor Pimple Popper. No, see, and Metall- yeah, I'm not going to follow that one. And Metallica, because once in a while they show concert footage with Jason in it. Nice. Uh, Adam Conover. I'm just looking down for the blue check marks now. Oh, Adam Conover. I, I like him a lot. Yeah. Uh, He's on Twitch now, if, if uh, you guys didn't know. He, he is. He plays video games. He is. Um, uh, Bare Naked Ladies. It's just the lead singer guy, but he sometimes he discusses how songs c- like came around and what the story of it is and stuff like that. Gary mm. Owen, he he's he's a pretty funny um comedian. Uh Deb Ryan or Debbie Ryan. Okay. Uh Gordon Ramsay. Veritasium. Like I'm yeah, that's Modern Rogue Channel, of course. Oh, right, 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 right. Vanessa Hudgens, Lizzo, and that's pretty much it. Postmodern Jukebox, like, 
Taylor Tomlinson. She's hilarious. Um, so who, who have you found so far that you follow and, and actually enjoy? Um, well, I, I wish if, I had. If you uh, don't like videos and if you don't uh, uh, follow people, the algorithm will never get better and you'll just be stuck on Unizaru for the rest of your TikTok life. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still playing around. I, I need to really start following people. Like I said, I'm only following like three and it's like people that I know. Okay. So, uh, we, we have the opposite thing from Twitter going on. You have RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter because you were late <laughs> to the game. Uh, and I have Ethan Kane. I have Ethan Kane 77 on, on, uh, TikTok. Because some yep. douche took my Ethan Kane. I think it was actually probably me just a long time ago, and I don't remember. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and you have Del Noche with no yep. appendages. Um, right. So if people are going to send you, first of all, they have to send you a friend request. But they could just send some random shit to you unless you have your shit locked down. If they're going to send you videos, what kind of videos on TikTok would you be interested in viewing from people? Because uh, you so hate like all the ones I've ever sent you. Yeah, just because your your taste in humor isn't good. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, there there are some really funny ones that I that I like. Uh, funny things involving dogs are are pretty good. Um, I I came across a, an account where somebody has a monkey, like a like a like a you know little monkey that that lives in his house. <laughs> but, and, but what uh, but what kind of animal is it? Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, a monkey. <laughs> So, what does his pet look like? If if you could pick any animal out of the jungle, what what would his pet represent? Um, I would say a monkey. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm sensing I'm sensing something extra here. Like like maybe you, maybe there's something you just want to get off your back. Um, probably a monkey. Oh no, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, no, so I I enjoyed that one. I I do like I said I like I like funny ones, especially if it involves animals. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, so things that I don't like, uh, besides anything I've sent you, this photo. Yeah, and anything <laughs> that 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 you sent me, I don't like the ones where people are lip syncing somebody else's content, like a stand up comedian. Like if they're just lip syncing a stand up comedian's thing, I think okay. it's fucking stupid and a waste of time. Uh huh. Uh, now, if there's really funny stuff to go with it, cool. Like I'll I'll entertain that one. But if it's just somebody sitting there lip syncing someone else's stuff, I don't understand the fucking point and just don't even bother. I I have one of my favorites that I will send you that you'll watch it and you'll be like, okay, that was pretty funny. And then you'll watch the original because you, know, you can tap on the bottom and see the original. You'll watch the original and be like, yeah, no, the one Amos sent me was better. Okay. Like there are some interpretations where it's actually a lot better than the original. But one of, yeah. the, one of the keys oh, and, with that. And Squid, and Squid wait, real quick, Squid has it right in the chat. George is the name of the monkey. He knows the, he knows the account I was talking about. George the monkey. <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> One one of the key elements to properly syncing with someone else's content, if you're going to try to elaborate or interpret it or whatever, you have to fucking sync it. Yeah. Oh my god, that is the most irritating thing in the world on TikTok to me is when somebody's trying to sync some shit and it's out of sync. Yeah, so, I just so for annoying. the most part, I just don't understand. I don't understand why it's so popular. It's like every I don't know, probably eighth thing in my feed is is someone lip syncing someone else's stuff, and I just. I, I, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, I see no point. I agree. I agree. Uh, <laughs> there's about one out of every eight lip syncers that actually adds something and interprets it in a new way that actually adds humor. So, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So, so what are your favorite? You said um, some of the the accounts that you follow, but what, like what specific content do you really enjoy? I have a most of my TikTok account is stand up comedians. I mean, most of the most of the videos I enjoy on there are stand up comedians, little one minute snippets of their comedy act, like a you know a highlight of their comedy act, um, mm. or 
I I don't know how to say this and be sensitive in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I am absolutely in love with the concept of sharing biblical inconsistencies on Twitter or on uh, on TikTok by people who have actually studied the texts and gone back and read the archaic texts and aren't just rehashing what they learned in Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Um, whether that's Christian, atheist, uh, monotheistic, uh, mul- uh, you know, polygamy or p- polytheistic, uh, whatever it is, like just just trying to bring to light some of the inconsistencies in religion in general, not just the Bible, but in, in religion in general. Um, I really enjoy those. I also have certain people like youth pastor Ryan that just have good, more heartwarming stories that p- come across my feed. And, uh, it's pretty funny. Um, mm. things like that. Uh, there, there's one guy, uh, Jake something rather. He's part of the GFC, the get fucked club. Um, <laughs> he's the, he's the founder of it or whatever. And he basically tells people off, like tells all these sh- shitty customer stories and stuff like that. Uh, and then, yeah, it, those are pretty fun. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I, what I watch on, on the old, and, and that and people getting hurt now. <laughs> I I will send like there are some really intelligent people on TikTok that are sharing great concepts and things like that. Some about the economy, some about uh, 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 um, relations in between different peoples and how they interact and things like that. Uh, I will share what I find according to who I think it will be interesting to. And the, my f- favorite person to share with is Sterling. Oh my God, I love sharing with Sterling. Her and I have a long... This is one of your daughters. Yes. This is the younger twin. Uh, Her and I have a long chat of videos with just stupid people getting hurt. (laughs) It's... Oh my gosh. It is so fun to watch. Because I've always been one of those people like, I'm not doing that. That just looks dangerous. And then everybody else would do it and it'd be fine. But I'm like, I'm not doing that. And to see videos, and this is my, one of my favorite things on YouTube as well, to see videos of people doing stupid shit and paying the consequence that I didn't want to have, it's it's just heartwarming to me. Uh, yeah. See, I, I, I see the humor in that stuff as long as it's not like a, a serious injury. Like, if it's an actual injury, I'm uh, not really a fan. But, you know, like somebody, I, somebody falling on ice or... I don't uh, want people to like get that. permanently injured. But if some dude yeah, is skateboarding... No yeah. If some dude is skateboarding down a fucking hot tin roof, hits a bump, slides face first on the hot tin roof and scrapes up a bunch of his neck and some of his arms and shit, and then lands face first on a pile of bricks and loses a couple teeth, that's fucking quality entertainment. Ah, That's what I'm here for. uh, eh. None none of that is permanent, but they'll never fucking forget that day, and I'm not going to forget that video. (laughs) Okay, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I oh, I like um. There, there was an account. I don't know why I didn't actually just click the follow button. Um, uh, I think it's called uh, Little Johnny or something like that. Where it's this, it's this kid telling his dad, yes, like, hey dad, guess guess what happened to me at school today? And it, they're hilarious. Yeah, they're yeah. they're pretty great. Uh, pretty that, my wife and I both follow that that account. And there's one account and I don't know who it is because I can't stand the videos myself. But my wife and, and Autumn, our eight year old. Will watch them. They'll rewatch ones they've already seen, and it's this blonde lady that's playing a mom, and then she's playing her little kid. But the little kid has like little toy hands. They're tiny little hands, so she yep, like basically holds her. them off to the side, and you know things like that. And they will fucking like they will both piss themselves watching the, those videos. And I don't find them humorous at all. But it's, yeah, I it's, don't. Yeah, I don't find them that funny. Like there's, it's like okay, mm-hmm. I can like you would type LOL without like changing your, the actual right. I can see how they're humorous there. to some people. It's not my cup of tea, but I understand why they're humorous to other people, and they fucking yeah. love them. And that little Johnny shit, that dude, it, whoever's writing for him, whether it's little Johnny or his dad or whoever's writing for that kid. That's that's fucking gold. Every time I see a video come across, I'm going to watch it. If I've already seen it, I'm going to watch it again. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, good. there's there's a few of them I've seen more than once. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. 
Um, what's uh, what's the one video that you remember that you just can't fucking forget that you've seen on TikTok? Like, if you had to pick one, whether it's good or not, it could be epically bad, epically good, or just awkward in some way that you remember it. <sighs> um. Well, the one that the one that's coming to my mind right now, I don't know if it's if it's going to be memorable past today, but the one that's coming to mind right now is there's a guy called um, Angry Reactions or something like that. Um, he uh, so what what he does is like he gives actual like positive messages, like he's he's reacting to to things like videos that he sees and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's he's got this like re he he's got like a mean looking face. And and he talks like very, you know very harsh and loud, ah! you know like loud and and angry sounding, but he's actually saying good things like like that was freaking awesome, you know. Um, and uh, somebody made a, a cookie with a like she decorated it to look like his face, mm -hmm. and he was reacting to the video of the yeah. cookie. and it that just one sounded mean me the entire time. And then at the end, he's yeah. like, "Yeah, I want more of them cookies." <laughs> yeah, I want that cookie. It looks good. <laughs> um, yeah, in fact, I think I'm going to follow him as well. Uh, he's he seems pretty good. Yeah. Um, for me, and I, I I love these transformation videos. Like, there's videos where people will start as start they'll they'll show themselves as a dude, you know, and then they'll do their makeup and stuff like that, and like it'll be a, some sort of transition, and they'll show themselves as their fully made up female. Um, mm. I love those videos. But the one that gets me, and the one that I I absolutely it started with with uh, uh, Meg the Bee. Her one of her first videos that I saw was one of my first favorites, and this is basically a better take on that one. Um, mm. This chick named uh, oh shit, I just had it. Uh, Blue eyed darkness. Blue eyed darkness with underscores okay. in between them. She. Uh, she comes on, she's got like a skull face on with a skull cap, you know, and you can basically just see her eyes and she's got, you can tell it's, it's a ton of makeup. And of course the skull part of it is all makeup. And she does a lot of mashups, which I love mashups, by the way. Um, she does a lot of mashups, you know, blind reaction to mashups, things like that. And then someone came across and she had done this before, but I hadn't seen it cause I hadn't gone through her back catalog of videos. Someone came along and said, why don't you show us the real you? Mm. And I was like, that's kind of odd. Like, let people do their thing. Who the fuck are you to judge anybody? Her next video had that, let's, uh, why don't you just show us the real you? And she's got her whole makeup on and everything else, right? And then uh, during the video, she does a little swipe thing or she swipes up or whatever. And she's, she looks completely different. And she steps back away from the camera and she's a big girl. You can't, you would never think she was that big from her from her makeup face just her face you know like she that's how she frames her makeup and mm -hmm. since that video and again she'd done this before but since that video she's been doing a lot of stuff without the full makeup just her normal daily makeup and even some without it and it's just one of those little things it's like man that just you can see the liberation like her videos are just more fun they're more herself she's got more personality into it and she's not just constrained to this one persona that she puts on tiktok and I love that shit, man. I dig that shit up. Mm. Okay. Plus, she's got awesome fucking mashups on her shit. So there's that. Yeah, you were talking about transformation videos. I, yeah, I saw some of those as well. Some, you know, some of them were makeup. Some of them were, um, um, you know, uh, like a like a lady going through her pregnancy, you know, and mm -hmm. like daily pictures or whatever. Um, those are those are pretty cool. Those are those are pretty neat. I love the format though. You, you, vines were six seconds. You barely even knew what was happening before it was over. This gives you a minute. You can almost almost tell a story. Like not really, but almost. I mean, you can technically tell a story, but you can really develop a scene in a minute, and it's really awesome to see creative ways of doing that. Yeah, um, I want to say thank you to Curtis Larock, I am Squidicus, and Sassian uh, because last show. We asked folks to give us suggestions on good TikTok videos, and those three folks uh, did so over at, uh, if you go to bit.ly slash RMP Discord, and then click on the TikTok Takes channel, 
uh, that is the place where uh, we appreciate sharing of TikTok videos. And if you want to be part of our Discord and get a, an extra channel just for you, you can cruise on over to patreon.com slash ritual misery. Hell yes. Discord channel so, dedicated to you. Swag at certain levels. Automatic swag at other levels. Discounts at some levels. Pre and post show shit. Archive shit. Like all the things. Patreon.com slash ritual misery. And you just be making this show one step better. Because, like, we like to buy shit for people. I'm about to send out a T-shirt to someone just because. So, yeah, I, dude, I, I think we might spend more money on our patrons than we do on the show itself. If you count bar tabs at conventions, we definitely do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we we bought definitely buy, close. Patreon Patreon has bought maybe three or four pieces of equipment, you know, or put in towards three or four pieces of equipment. Um. Mm. But we've, yeah, we spend we spend most of it on people. Hell, in we've, we've ways. bought equipment for other people. Yeah, <laughs> like probably at least as much as we've bought equipment for ourselves. We've yeah. bought it for other people. Yeah, between webcams so the guests could have a proper webcam, um, or, uh, uh, yeah, just all kinds of shit, man. Patrons patrons make all that happen, and yep. gives gives us the things that we need in order to make sure. Uh, that we can do our streamathon every year, which is really at this point the end goal. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's my it's my turn to choose a, a, a topic for next week, right? Yes. Yeah, because you choose you chose TikTok. All right, so next week, uh, so thurs for Thursday's show, uh, since we're uh, for the next couple of weeks we're doing two shows a week. Um, uh, I want to talk about. Free streaming services. Free streaming uh, everybody, services. Yeah, everybody talks about Netflix and Hulu and HBO Max and mm -hmm. so forth. There are a ton of free streaming services where if you, as long as you've got the internet, you can watch TV and movies 100% for free. And I'm not talking about torrenting stuff right. and, and being on, on um, you know people's uh, servers and things like that. I mean, no kidding, legal streaming services that are free, and people don't talk about them enough. And I want to, I want to have a conversation with you about them next week. Now, you're talking about like free Hulu, um, Tubi TV. Yeah, yeah, stuff uh, like that. Crunchyroll. I think Crunchyroll is still free, right? Like, you, there's still a free tier um, you can get to. I'm not sure, but I'll I, I'll know by Thursday for I think damn they, sure. I think they have a Fire TV <laughs> Stick app that allows you to get some of their content or most of their content for free. Um, so, but we're not talking about like Plex uh, uh, server where um, not only the part where you can access a media library that you have locally or remotely, but also not the service where because I'm a Plex Premium member, I can go and watch a bunch of free shit on different streaming services. We're talking about. No money out your pocket free streaming services. Yeah, exactly. So like we won't be talking about Amazon Prime either because right. people think of, of Prime as being free because they're of course I'm a Prime member because I want the shipping. Right. And so I get the video stuff for no 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 no. You pay for that. So we're not yeah. gonna talk about Prime. But YouTube as long as it's not a YouTube Pro or Red or whatever YouTube TV account, YouTube does count. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. No, I'm down. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds like a good topic. I could have fun with this. Yeah. Right sounds on. like so a that, mini, we'll... mini topic from Court Killers. Maybe I'll have to brush up a little bit. Yeah, and since we're talking about upcoming episodes, one week from today, so our next Sunday episode, we've got a guest. Yeah. And it's going to be Ryan Airy from Screen Crush. Speaking of YouTube. Yes, yes. Um, you can go to ScreenCrush.com or go to Screen Crush on YouTube and... Uh, and see what he's got going on over there. Uh, I'm really looking forward to talking to this dude. He, he's funny. Um, he's super fucking nerdy. He's into the shit that I'm into. Yep. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He, I mean, he's big time into Star Wars and and MCU. So, and, uh, and if you have questions, let us know. Podcast at ritualmisery.com, and we will do our best to ask them on uh, on the show. Yep. Absolutely. Please. Yeah. And I'll, I'll start a thread in uh, in the Discord as well. Uh, to to uh, ask Ryan some questions. So. All right. 
Um, that would be next week. Well, what about uh, what about the end of this week? Well, we talked about a lot of things, and we're gonna have some links and things like that. And you can find all that on our website. You can find our Twitter handles and all that other good happy horse shit at ritualmisery.com. Hell yeah. Uh, we are live every Thursday and Sunday at this point, uh, at 7 p.m. Pacific <laughs> on twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Oh, thank you for listening or watching or both. For you, for me, and for Kent, and for everybody else, really, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Oh, where's the button? Where's the button? There's the button. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y I found the button. Hell yes. <laughs>